Walk into any reasonable music shop these days and you'll find a good selection of electronic keyboard instruments. They offer the musician a whole range of instrumental sounds and effects. What do you think of these? But this one's my favourite. All of these rely on the computer to make them work, which brings with it some rather interesting features. These can all be connected together because of MIDI, which stands for Musical Instrument Digital Interface, and that means that one person can make an awful lot of noise. And we've got Clive Williamson with us, who composes music and sells his own tapes with the help of MIDI. Hello. Hi. Now, what's all this stuff you've got here, Clive? Uh, well, the heart of the system is a synthesizer, which is pretty much like the synthesizers you had over there. But this is very slightly more powerful, as they say in the trade. And it's got lots and lots of different sounds built in. So, for example, there's an entire drum kit based on that particular set of sounds. Um, you can also find things like Indo pipes um, or some nice strings. Well, fairly nice strings. Um, this synthesizer is okay on its own because you can play one sound at a time, but it really comes into its own when you add uh, more equipment to it. And in this case, I've got a sequencer running on a computer. And it's connected up to that using MIDI? That's right. So <coughs> could you tell me more about what the sequencer does? Right. Well, basically, you can record all sorts of different parts and build up a whole piece of music. So here I've got a, a bass guitar, which is running all the way through the piece. Then I've added uh, things like an acoustic piano. So it actually acts instead of having a tape recorder, but it just records data, does it? That's right. It's very much like a multi-track tape recorder. Here we've got all the different tracks, bass drum, rim shot on a, on a drum cowbells and shakers and things like that. And the good thing about it is that once you've recorded them by playing them on the keyboard, you build the piece up one piece, at, one instrument at a time. Um, you can then edit them if you've made a terrible mistake. I mean, say if I go over to look at the piano part. So you don't do that on the piano, you do that uh, using the, the computer? That's right, the piano sound is coming from the computer itself. Now, here are the notes that I've played. Now, I don't actually know what these mean at all. <laughs> I must be honest. Let me just stop this. Um, but I can actually click on the notes with the mouse and listen to them. And if I've got one wrong, I can alter it. <laughs> well, it looks like it, you have to be very skillful. You must have spent a lot of time being a musician to do all this. Uh, well, the irony is no. I mean, that's, that's why I love MIDI, because uh, you don't have to have a great deal of knowledge. You just have to have ideas. I've only been playing this for about three years now. So you don't have to go to a proper studio to use this kind of equipment? No, not at all. I mean, all these sounds we're hearing are coming from one synthesizer and, and basically running with one computer. And I think um, it's within the, the realms of most musicians to, to try and get something like that and make their own music at home, in the bedroom or you know, in the garage, wherever there's some space. And you can connect lots of other instruments in as well then, can you? That's right. I mean, you're not restricted to uh, using a synthesizer like this. You can actually play something like a digital horn, for example, which is a bit like a saxophone. You connect it up again by a MIDI cable into the synthesizer and or into the computer. And you just blow into the top of that and it produces yes, that's the sounds. Right. I mean, the sounds from it are a bit, um, a bit strange, but they, they sound very good played through other synthesizers. So what else could you plug in? Well, the nice thing about it is once you've developed a piece, um, it's nice to add other instruments externally. So, for example, I mean, uh, I think you play the oboe, don't you? You might like to oh, play along to this. Add other people in as well. <laughs> Matt says he plays the guitar. How about getting Matt in? Uh, well, I think play is actually a slight exaggeration, but the nice thing about MIDI is that it makes even my playing sound halfway reasonable. Well, if you play your guitar, I'll join in as well. Right. <laughs> Here's my MIDI lead connected already, thank heavens. Now, you can give me a few chords just to sort of... Um, uh, yes, yeah, so, well, do you want to try the Indo pipes sound? Oh, yes, that's much better, isn't it? <laughs> um, Maybe Something different, perhaps? Not quite right for the piece. Try this. I think that might work rather might nicely. Work. Now, the thing about MIDI also is it's given me the confidence to do a lot more playing, so I've actually taken up the flute since I've started doing all this. Right, shall we so, have a go um, then? Do you yeah, want to set it off? Have a go. Right. There's our backing. If you just played me up on the mixer, I'll be able to play my flute. Thanks. Mm. 